uh, we're joined by um, Given Vaiko from our computer center. Given, good morning. Hi, good morning, Kashwana. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good morning to the students and all the viewers as well. Orientation 2021, the theme is on your own but not alone. How possible are you making that as the technical team of the university, the computer technical team of the university? Um, I mean, we're able to live stream this, so let's start there. So the fact that students are not on campus but able to view this already means a lot. Technically, we are providing the internet support as well. Our first year students, they worried that um, they do not have smartphones, they do not have, um, they did manage here and there to try and see how they can secure some laptops, a few of them. How will they be provided a service to be able to get internet connectivity and technical support from Computer Center? Um, it's, it's not only first year students, all students um, across all 12 campuses uh, have free uh, access to free internet. So all our campuses have free Wi Fi. Um, the norm on main campus that I've realized is most students would normally sit around the computer center thinking the internet is faster there. It, it is not true, it's not correct. Um, it, it is faster at other places as well. So all campuses have free Wi-Fi, so students can connect there with their user accounts. On top of that, each year we provide uh, uh, internet devices as well. In the past, it used to be dongles that they could connect to their laptops. We have since changed that. Students now get free pocket Wi-Fi's mm. that they can connect to any device, really, their laptops, their phones, their tablets, uh, and so on. Just to repeat that, the University of Namibia will this year, for the freshman students as well as for its senior students, provide free pocket Wi-Fi. And I'm just thinking I still have a few days to register so that I can ensure I get one as well. Tell us a bit about the computer center and the service that it provides to students. These are fresh students. They have no idea what is a computer center. What can they expect from the computer center? And possibly you can end with the portals. Um, as a department, uh, not to get too technical, we're obviously um, created to provide IT services to both staff and students. In this case, we're probably going to talk more about the student part. So as a department, we provide uh, all technical and IT services to students. So a few years back, way, way back before COVID even, we thought the process of students coming up and down to access staff at computer center was a bit too cumbersome. Not only was it wasting students' resources, it was also tedious in terms of long queues, and that's how the birth of a student portal was introduced. So Student Portal briefly is an online platform that allows students to access university um, services online at the convenience of whether it be on campus, at home, and wherever really. So this is more like our online platform where students can go on and you know, get your financial statements, your academic records, your proof of registration. So you don't really have to go queue up to get some of these stuff. You can get them on your portal at, con at your convenience. Um, just as our technical team is assisting us, could we kindly please just have the university website and see where you click in terms of uh, student portal um, when they're able to access it online. Our website is and still remains www.unam.edu.na. As we're waiting to see the portal on our various screens, I wish to tell you that um, Mr. Given Baker is an alumna of the University of Namibia. He's currently a um, system analyst at our computer center, but trained right here. Indeed, it's an opportunity for all our students that wish to study computer sciences to be aware that in our own university structures, we do appreciate and first and foremost trust the graduates that we put out there. They're equally employed here, and we train them as students, as student interns. One of the very familiar things that you come to get used to is, especially at the computer center, is that there is a whole network of students that are ready and able to assist you for any technical services, whether it's online, telephonically, or physically. Uh, Mr. Vago, can you just quickly take us through the steps in terms of um, a student that will be using that screen? I don't know how visually visible it is for you from this distance, but. Um, what are the steps to just go to your student portal? Um, 
the the portal was created um, with a mindset of that it's going to be used by students. That is the first foremost thing. So we didn't use any technical words. It is not an overly complicated English word that is used there. It's really self-explanatory. So if you look on your left, for instance, if you can just bring up the portal, as when you get registered, an account gets created for you automatically by the university, by the computer center department. These details will be communicated to you. So you need to have your username and a password that we encourage not to share with other students. If you look on the left, there will be tabs, the dashboard. This is your notice board where information about the university will be published. If there's a laptop to be worn, it will be published there. If your class is postponed or canceled for whatever reason, it will be published there by your uh, respective lecturers as well. And then you find these academics. This is where you get your proof of registration, your academic record, and your results uh, for the previous examinations as well. Your financial statements are also on there. I think the finance department will come up a bit later to talk more about that. But you don't have to go queue up per se to go get your financial statement or to know how much you owe the university. You can simply log in and view all those details. Your 3Gs are on there as well. Um, there's really a lot. But the one thing that I really want to um, also touch on, there's a service called MyPrint. Mm -hmm. um, the unofficial name is Follow Me Printing. It's a pity now that students are at home, but eventually when they return, this could become very useful. This is a service that allows students across campus to print from any computer on campus, and you can go pick up your papers from any printer across campus. Wow. So you can print anywhere, and then you go to any printer, you put in your username and your password, and only then do your documents get retrieved, and you can print them out at that time. Obviously, you need credit for that, and... There's a copy center for that. The process is quite easy, really. Wow. Um, Mr. Given Vehicle, is if you're just joining us to our stakeholders, our students, uh, we're in studio with Mr. Given Vehicle from our computer center. He's taking us through what the computer center provides. As Mr. Vehicle, in his final remarks, does a welcoming. We just quickly want to mention to you that kindly please do not fear any technical services that the university is providing. We know that this will be extremely new to you as you will be for the first time ever an online student. For some of you, you may not have clicked the button of any computer in ever, whatever time or space before this. However, we are here. You're, on, you're alone, but you're not on your own. We are indeed with you to take you through the process and we'll introduce you to all aspects. For that reason, this entire show is being recorded and it is available to you at your convenience and at ease and at your own pace on our university website. Mr. Veiko, in your final and closing remarks, how will you welcome a fresh student that will come for the first time to do online classes at the University of Namibia and has never, ever touched a personal computer. Um, good. Um, we have a, a sister department called computer science. This is our academic department that will teach you. There are various courses. There's a mandatory course called computer literacy where all first-year students have to go through. So if you have never seen a mouse, never touched one, don't know how to click where, the university is equipped enough to show you around, to get around on how to use a computer for the very first time. So I don't think students have anything to fear in that regard, really. Thank you very much, Mr. Vehicle. The University of Namibia is indeed a public institution. We respond to the challenges of our country. We are aware that our students come from all corners of this very country and face numerous challenges. So kindly do not fear that you will be an online student. In fact, the word mouse is not our everyday little mouse that runs around within our fields, but it's a little clicking device that helps you access services on your personal computer. If this is unfamiliar to you, we guarantee you that we will introduce to you all aspects and devices. 